Coach Ride Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another Indian locomotive here, and we're going to be building this WDG 4G. And as you can see, it has a cab at each end, and this is a GE built locomotive based on their Evolution series. So let's get right into it. So our first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak bend skate. Then on the next block down, on bottom, we're going to put five polished black stone stairs facing this way. Above it, a polished black stone block in the center, then an upside down polished black stone stair on either side of that, and on the outer edges, a piston facing this way. Then come around behind it, put a lever on the back of each piston, and activate them. Then on the center of this, do a three block tall T-shape of polished black stone. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. And actually we're going to put one polished black stone on each of these top outside edges here. Then we'll put five upside down polished black stone stairs across here. Then we're going to take out a dark oak trap door. And we'll have to crouch to place it, get it on the side of this lever, and close it. Do the same thing here. Close the trap door on the side of this lever. Then we're going to grab some iron bars here. And down under here, put two iron bars on each side. Then behind this, skip one block back from this and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, we'll do two rows of five polished deep slate slabs coming out to each side of the tracks. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then another two rows of five polished deep slate slabs. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels and into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on this second layer, we're going to fill the top middle three with polished black stone block and bring it down the length of this truck. We'll stop above where these fence gates are for now here. Next, we have to do our fuel tank here and we'll still be using polished black stone for that. So come on the next block down here, and we're gonna go three wide of polished black stone and make it nine blocks long. And once you have a three by nine, go ahead and fill the second layer with that as well. Then on one side of this here, we're just going to extend all of this fuel tank out to the side by one block. Just like that. Then, on the top middle on the side of this, a crimson button. Then the other side's going to be different. We're going to put two rows of three polished black stone walls here, and two rows of three here with a gap between them, and put two buttons there. Then, we need to come here, and on this first block right here, put a string. Then we're going to crouch, because there's two air tanks, and we're going to put two rows of three sideways anvils in front of this. And then, fill in above it, three wide with polished blackstone. Then come in front of this, skip one block forward, and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, two rows of five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hip box coming out to each side. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And another two rows of five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we'll open dark oak bend skates into the ends of the wheels here. And at this end down here. Then we'll fill the top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone down the length of this truck. And we'll stop above these fence gates. 
Now come on this end in the middle, and we need a three block tall T-shape of polished black stone block. And we're gonna go ahead and make the top five blocks wide here. Then hang a lantern on either side of this second layer like this. And on the bottom, two iron bars here, two iron bars here. Then in front of that, five polished black stone stairs coming across the bottom. Then above it, a block in the center, an upside down stair on either side, and then a piston facing this way on each side. Above that, five upside down polished black stone stairs across the top. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, stack it up to that second block. Under it, put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then, come around here, put a lever on the back of the piston and open it. Same thing on this side. Then take a dark oak trap door, crouch, get it on the side of this lever, and close it. Then do the same thing on this side. Close the trap door on the side of this lever over here. Now come through on the sides of the truck. Everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper in front of it. Same thing here. Then do the other side. And up here. Then we'll come back through and everywhere there's a hopper, put a single polished deep slab slab above each hopper. Then do this side. And up here. Now take out a grindstone, one here, one here. Then one here, and one here. Then copy it on the other side, so here and here. And then on the front here and here. Then take dark oak fence gates, two here, two here. Do the other side, two here, two here. Then do the back truck the same way. Then above where these anvils are, we're gonna put two nether brick fences on the side up here. And we'll go ahead and put two on this other side up here as well. Then we're gonna come on top and fill this whole thing end to end, five wide with polished black stone block. Once that's done, we'll start working on the cab. So come on top of the end here. We're gonna put a red concrete in the center and two yellow concrete on either side. Above it, a yellow on each outside edge and three red concrete in the middle. Then, a red nether brick wall on this top middle, two iron bars on either side of it. Come around on the side here, and on the bottom of each side, do two yellow concrete and then two red concrete. On the next layer, we'll do three yellow concrete on each side and then a red concrete on the back. Then, across here, we're gonna put five black glass blocks. Then two black stained glass panes on either side. And then a yellow concrete behind it on each side. Then on top of this glass, three red concrete on this top middle here. And then carry that to the back of the cab. Then on the sides, we'll put four mangrove slabs on each side above the windows. Then on the top middle, two red nether brick slabs. And then we're gonna open a fence gate right here. And now we'll work on the other cab, which is slightly different in the color pattern here. So come to this end. So on this end, red concrete in the middle, two yellow on either side, then a yellow on each side, three red concrete. Then a red nether brick wall, two iron bars on each side. Then, behind it on this side and the other side on bottom, we're gonna put three yellow concrete coming back and a single red. Then, two red at the back, two yellow at the front. Then we'll do five black glass across here, two black stained glass panes on either side, 
and then a red concrete behind that. Then three red across the top of this glass and extend it to the back. Then four mangrove slabs here, four on this side, two red nether brick slabs on the top middle, and open a fence gate right here. Now come into a loom with a white banner and green dye, and we're going to put a vertical on the right. Switch to red dye, vertical on the left. Then switch to yellow dye and put a circle in the center of that. Then we're going to do a red banner, yellow dye, and we're going to make the bottom half yellow. Then we'll also need an item frame. So we're going to come up here and this red and yellow one covers the side of the window here and here. Then we do the same thing on this cab, here, and here. Then we're going to come down on the front here, and we're going to put an item frame on the center right here, put this flag banner on, and then turn it so the red's on top. Do the same thing here. So an item frame, put the banner on, turn it so the red's on top. Now we need to be able to get into this, so take a mangrove door, put one here, like that, and then come on this side, and one right here, behind this cab. Then we're going to come down to the cab that has a solid three red at the back here, and start working from this end. Right here, do an L shape of red concrete, one red concrete there. Then yellow, two yellow here, then yellow, two yellow above this door. Then come behind this, on the center, we're going to put four cobbled deep slate, two high in the center. Then two iron bars here and here, and do the same pattern on this side. And then two yellow stained glass panes and the gaps between them here on each side. Then we'll run four yellow concrete up each top outside edge. Then once we have that behind it on each side, we're going to do a two by two of deep slate tile walls. And then we'll put two more cobble deep slate in this middle to fill in the hole and two yellow concrete on top of each side. Then behind this on each side, we'll make this L shape of yellow concrete like that. Behind it, five red concrete on the bottom of each side then five here, and here, then step up again, five here, five here. Then, behind that, we'll do five yellow concrete on the bottom of each side, then five here, five on this side, and then five up here, and on the other side. Then, we'll fill the rest of both sides up to the cab here, three tall with red concrete. And same thing on this side here. Then we're actually gonna skip two blocks over on the top here from the cab at this end, because there's another vent. And we're gonna knock out a line of four on each side right here. Then we'll put four cobbled deep slate in the center of that. And on the sides, we'll do two deep slate tile walls and then two iron bars. Now on the side above where these vents are, we're going to put six oak slabs. And then same thing on this side. Then we'll do a row of deep slate tile slabs here and here aligned with it. Fill the center of it with oak slabs. And two rows of three oak slabs across this gap. Back here, go to mangrove slabs. Come four across this end. Then two out on each side and four across again. And here, put two cobble deep slate with iron trap doors on it. Then in front of this, we'll do one more row of three mangrove slabs. Then we'll switch 
to oak slabs and start filling this in until we're over this first iron bar. Then in front of that, go back to mangrove slabs and fill this whole roof in up to this cap with the slabs. Now take a ladder, put one above this inner wheel and one above this inner wheel. Do the same thing on this side, so here and here. Then on either side of the ladder we're going to put two birch fences coming up like this. And same thing here. Then do the other side, two fences on either side of that ladder. Same thing here. Then connect up right here and bring it forward to the cab. Skip over where the ladder is and fill in a row right here till you get to the other fence. Then skip where this ladder is and come over and connect with this cab. Then of course we'll repeat the process on this side. So we'll row up to the cab here, skip the ladder, fill in in between here. Skip this ladder and fill in over to the cab. Then we're going to grab black carpet and on this walkway here we'll go ahead and put a full row of black carpet on here. And bring it down to the other end. And then we'll do the other side. So on this walkway, I'll pull a roll black carpet up here and bring that down to the end on this side. Just like that. Now, we need to make more banners. So we're going to come into a loom here with a red banner and black dye. Make the top half black. Switch to yellow dye and put a border on it. Then switch to red and make the bottom half red. Then a new red banner and black dye, make the top half black, then put a red border on it. And these are for the back cab windows here. So this cab that's all red on the back, we put the red one here and here, and the one with yellow on it, we of course use the half yellow one here and here. Now come on the front of the cab, we're gonna put a skeleton skull on the center here, then a glow item frame on the center here with a frog light, and a stone button on either side of it. And we're gonna repeat the process for this cab. So, stone button on either side, glow item frame with a frog light, skeleton skull up here. Now we'll come on the front of the cab again, because there's even more details to add here. So first up, we're gonna come in and we need to grab a polished black stone button and we'll put one on either of these bottom corners. Then right here, we're gonna put an oak sign and we're gonna type WDG4G in all capital letters. On this side, we're gonna put the number on, which for this one is gonna be 49052. Then we'll hit both of those signs with white dye and a glow ink sack. Repeat the process at this end, so a button on each of the bottoms, then over here a sign with WDG4G, and on the other side a sign with 49052. Then hit both of those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then swing around on the side of the cab here, up underneath the side windows, on the left We'll put an oak sign with WDG 4G. And then next to it, a mangrove sign with 49052. Then we'll hit those ones with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll do this side. So do a mangrove sign here with WDG 4G. And then an oak sign with 49052. And then we hit both of those with a white dye and glow ink sack. 
Then come down to the other cab, an oak sign with WDG4G, and another one with 49052. Then hit those with white dye and a glow ink sack, and then one more side to go under these windows. A oak sign, WDG4G, and then one with 49052. And then we hit those with a white dye and glow ink sack. Now come on the side right here on top, put a mangrove sign and type Indian, and then an oak sign and type railways. Hit those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do it on this side, right here an oak sign with Indian, and a mangrove sign with railways. Hit them with white dye and a glow ink sack. If you don't like how small that lettering is, you could also put in a small row of white concrete to represent the lettering. Now we'll do the interior. So come into the cab through this door here. Take out smooth stone slabs. And we're going to go three wide with them up to the bottom of this window across here. Then we're going to go one block tall with them, two rows of three across this. Then we'll do a column of slabs on the side right here, all the way up to the ceiling. And same thing here. Then one slab down here, then a stair on each side for seats. Turn around and we'll do a lever, two glow item frames with compasses. Then back in here we'll do two blast furnaces and a frog light to light it, and this cab is done we have to repeat the process for the other cab. So come over here, come through this door, and do the same thing. So three wide of slabs up to the window, two rows of three, one block high here, then up to the ceiling on each side behind it, a single slab down here, a stair on each side for seats, a lever, two glow item frames with compasses. Then finally back here, two blast furnaces and a frog light. And now this cab is done here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Indian Railways WDG 4G locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.